Hello YouTube. This video is especially for Dr. and Bishop Michael Caps, who is a an owner of a Hammond B3 and Leslie 122. Bishop, you live out in Cal Bishop lives out in California. So, Bishop, what I want to do is go over some uh, Hammond B3 basic essentials with you. And uh, I hope that uh, you get something out of this video that will help you in your gospel musicianship. Now, I'm going to begin by um, showing how I turn on the, the B3 here um, using this switch. And I know that, that, that I mean, most organs know how to turn on the organ. But sometimes the organ is not turned on properly so it doesn't provide the, the best sound. That, that it is possible to get, to gain from this instrument. So, what I do, and what I've learned to do over the years, is use an, uh, an eight count on the start like this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then hold it and run. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, okay? So you can do an eight, ten count or an eight, eight count. Some say hold it until it evens out. Okay, so an eight, eight count or eight, ten count should work. Now, um, let's reposition the camera here. I want to show the draw bars. Right, we're gonna we're gonna set the draw bars to give it a good gospel flavor. Now, over first of all, over here are the tabs. I have the vibrato off, but I'll keep the vibrato on C3. Sometimes um, I'll use C2, but most of the time I play with the vibrato all on the course three and um, of course you use this when you're going to use this particular tab here uh, for the top and this tab for the lower keyboard but we start out by setting it up uh, the draw bars and I uh, to get the to get the kind of gospel sound that that I that I play with or use I'll pull these first four draw bars out. But then I have a little little trick, a little secret that I'm going to let you uh, in on, Bishop. I'll also pull out this black draw bar. And depending on the organ that I'm playing, it will depend on how far I pull this out. So I have to listen. Because what I'm listening for is... I'll turn up the bass, like I'll turn it up like that. Then I'll wait until it starts growling. I'll pull it out. See, I can hear it right there. I don't want I don't want that much. I don't want that. I don't want I don't want it to howl. I don't want it to howl. That's too much. But I want it to. But I wanna I want the bass. To, I want the bass to growl. I want my bass to growl. So on this particular organ, the sensitivity level allows me to set the black uh, draw bar here the, uh, uh, at, at four. So I'm able to get that type of, of bass. And that's almost too rich.
sama med Belgien. sound and then if I want it to rock even more then I can come over here and push this tab and watch this watch what happens see it'll tremble there so if I want to if I want to use um, my left hand bass heavily I'm talking to the camera baby that's, that's my grandbaby and let you see my grandbaby. Bishop Cap, here she is. Come on, stand right there, baby. Where are you? There you are. There. Yeah. Say hello, Bishop. Hi, Bishop. Okay, that's that's my granddaughter, uh, Janessa. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me do this, baby. Let me. I'm gonna turn around here. No, no, no. Let me do this. Okay. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Now, can you close the door for me, baby? Now, that gives it a heavier, a heavier bass. I'm recording this, baby. Let me record this for me, okay? Let me record this, and then I'll talk to you in a little bit, okay? Here you go. Alright. Now, you, know, you have to put them in for yourself. There. You can do it. Now, um, now you have the left hand set up. Could you tell a little that I'm recording down here and not to bang on the piano right now? Please tell him that. Please close the door for me. Please. Thank you so much, baby. Okay, Bishop, we're back at it now. My, grand, my grandchildren are enjoying themselves. And... Um, they, they love music as well. They should. All right. So, now, for the bass pedal. For the bass pedal. Now, everybody knows you pull out uh, this draw bar. This first draw bar. Which gives you this. Okay. That's understood. But, here's another little trick, Bishop. I like to get some growl out of this. So, so... For each organ, I will listen. I'll pull this second one out a little bit. Until it begins to sing. I don't want it to sing. See, I don't want that. I don't want that. But I want it to... I want it to tremble a little bit. So... Here... It's at about... It's at about three. Okay, so I set at about three. Papa, let me tell you something. All right, now, so it's set at about three there. And so now, I can begin setting other draw bars. Now, um, I'll go ahead and set up. Baby, please close the door for me. I'll go ahead and hit this preset for the uh, second set of draw bars here. Hit this. And, and I'll set this up for when I want to play on the top row. Now, and this, is in, this is very uh, important if you, when you're going to uh, follow a preacher. You want to have this already set up if you're going to do a solo. To have this set, so see, and of course, uh, the, with the percussion on, so I have the percussion on on and on normal. Use the percussion delay, you want a fast percussion delay, and second percussion. Second, put it on percussion harmonic selector. Second, 
not the third, okay? Now, like that. Then you come over here and you can pull out. come down here to the bottom the bottom row and what I'll automatically do is pull these two white ones out and give me that sound that's classic and then I'll start this is pretty much how I start that's the Hammond Dock sound right there that's the Hammond Dock sound. See, so this is the setup for the Hammond Dock sound. I'll bring it in. This, these two are all the way out. This is set at five. This third, this third white uh, draw bar is set at five. But now, watch what I'm going to do. I like to get, here's another little trick. I like to get a little zing in my sound. So I'll reach over here and I'll pull a little bit of this brown one out here. Not the first one, but the second draw bar. I'll pull a little bit of it out. Until I can just barely hear it. See, I can hear it coming in at three. Here it is set at four. It gives it a zinger. It gives it a zing zing. See, it gives it a powerful sound. If I pull this all the way out, it would be too much. service and uh, um you're doing a song like uh you know a testimony song like they're going they're singing something like on my way to heaven and i'm so glad like on my way to heaven and i'm so
so that's how I'll that's how I'll start out the testimony with this setup and then and then by the time we get to that next verse uh, that says sanctified holy and I'm so glad I'll start pulling out the other draw bars watch this and Sanctified, sanctified, holy, and I'm sanctified, holy, and I'm, I'm sanctified, holy, and I'm so just a little bit more than I would like so I had to push it back in and then see <clears throat> and then if they are really high you know they they, they, they want to rock Daniels at church they want to rock Daniels because I'm feeding off of the congregation as I play I'm I'm feeling the congregation the flow of the dynamic of the service and, and, and as the spirit begins to move that as the spirit begins to move as a musician uh, Dr. Kemp's then you start going with the flow of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah, you start going with that the flow of the anointing. And as the anointing picks up in the room, that's that's when you start adding uh these higher uh high harmonics uh presets right there. So so and somebody said, I'm, I'm I you know <clears throat> Somebody, if they do something like that, if somebody say, I'm sanctified, then you know you're going to have to go up here. I'm sanctified. Cause you got to make that organ scream because cause they said I'm sanctified, holy. So you need to match that. I'm sanctified, holy. So you have to match what's going on. See that that sound like sanctified, holy. And then suppose uh, off of that song, um, they want to get into. They start getting into now. They got happy. They done got happy, and somebody done started shouting. And then they go, then you go ahead and pull out the rest of them. If it's if, if if they continue on, if they continue on, 
then then you you're gonna have to get with it and and you're gonna have to pull out this first draw bar and you're gonna have to be playing up here when you pull out this first draw bar and and if they continue because after a while after a while the drums are going the guitars are going and you can't hardly hear yourself set up on my on my organ an equalizer booster over here and I, I, I'll show you what that looks like in fact I have one in my shop hold for just one second and I'll get the equalizer booster it's called uh, it's called a Hampton it's a booster control and allows me to uh, EQ the 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 gain, the overall gain, the treble, and the bass. This is what I have installed on my Hammond B3 here, and it's a wonderful device. Cause listen what it does when I cut it on. I, I typically don't play with this thing on because it's so powerful. You have to have new speakers, recone a uh, uh, woofer. And 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 essentially new upper driver, like a ferro fluid driver, or a new quality driver that can carry this thing when you turn it on. Cause you'll blow your speakers up if they're if they're worn old vintage speakers, like a vintage V21 or a vintage uh, C15L woofer or vintage P15L woofer that has not been recombed. Man, you're gonna you're, it's gonna it's gonna shatter that stuff. So watch what happens. When I turn it up, when I turn it on. Hampton. 
when I turn the vibrato on, on this. Watch this, watch what happens. Thank you. I hope this helped you. Bishop Michael Caps. May God continue to bless you.